being in the Discord channel. That includes the YouTube channel. And now we're going into our grand finals. Uh, is it 3 4 3 41? I see John again. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I see John is. again. There he is. Jonathan Q numbers. <sighs> He's back to trying to win another local. Oh, he was trying to start out off with a statement as well. But instead, it's Mr. Frank getting a little bit of damage. Okay. Mr. Fire just be, just be throwing in like short hops just for no reason, and I love it. Like it, it does help out, but uh, Dare does not. Dare is first three frames are always spikes. I learned yeah. the other day, the other month, may I say? And three, it's horrible. Three frame after spikes, pretty good. That's horrible. It's, That's horrible for everyone else. That's yeah, great yes. for Refit. Yeah, yeah. Because like there's some characters that have like one frame after a spike, and like you're trying to like line Lucina. up. Uh, Lucina, Inkling. You know, there's a lot of characters like oh, their spike is bad. But Refit, that down air is good. I like that John air dodge away from his own ball. It's hilarious. We go for the jab into the back air once more. Mr. Fairhide, the classic Roy maneuver. Gonna be seeing a uh, attempt at less Trump, but John a little bit too uh, on the on the front end of that. Gonna be not letting that happen. But man, we turned our we spot dodge, turn around, hold shield, drop shield into jab into back air. Yeah. You know, not many people are in the corner and decide. You know what? What do we? What if I roll in the corner? <laughs> <laughs> what if I look at you <laughs> when <Yes>. I die? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I need a little capture cam. <laughs> that was so funny. Stop. I'm, I'm Italian. I don't oh, I'm, I'm, oh, we are we are in the booth today. <laughs> we're, we're we're chilling. We're watching John Numbers try and take some names and win another weekly. But I have been really enjoying Mr. Fahrenheit's like approach to offense. Like it has been no holds bar. It's been all about like setting up for your finishing blow. And it's been taking some wild, wild risks. But hey, like time after time, it appears to be paying off. And that could have been a much bigger punish than just a jab. And misspacing it as well was not ideal. Boy, we're swinging. Uh, we're swinging. Numbers is definitely doing that the roundabout maneuver to look at you in the face while he dies. But we're all good. Gonna be being sent back off stage. Gonna be saying, get away from me. The soccer ball and now sending Mr. Fahrenheit in a very bad position where you're kind of stuck between a hot rock and a hard place. You couldn't jump, couldn't roll in, couldn't stand up, couldn't nothing. He should have just died, and he did. He had to look at the sun salutation in the face and time a roll in order to get by, or just like wait, I guess. But that's man, like <laughs> numbers had set up himself to score, and you know, he 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 drained it, that's for sure. No, he certainly did. And now again, we're going to be seeing numbers get contested off the stage. Now, he's saying, getting in for the soccer ball once again. So, a little bit of regrab. Going to be going for the jab, down tilt, jab on shield. True combo. Not going to get much off him, unfortunately. John Numbers still going to be holding on to his second stock with the, with the end of his life. And you know all Roy players know why you're going off stage. I have a forward air. I'm going to run at you. He's swinging. He's hunt. He's after the stocks. And like the stock taking interaction is the most important for him, regardless of whether or not he is at risk before or after and that kind of lack of self-preservation sometimes is really kind of dangerous to play around because you're risking that double jump you're risking the reversal you're playing up close and personal what? with john numbers and you know he's ready to pull the trigger that that's cool and all Ubo. can i see is a replay of that last stop <laughs> I want. I did not see a percentage. My man was at oh 95. Yeah, we lost. We lost a deep breathing deep forward breathing, smash yeah. across the stage. Yeah, 95 to what? But so I, 118. Dang, that sucks. The risk that Mr. Frank has been taking has all been like you're respecting my space. Yes. You're respecting me just like standing jab. You're respecting me standing down tilt. Like you're respecting that. Or, or some sort of like reversal out of shield, like a forward air or a back air. Like that's kind of what everything is built on, like that innate layer of respect. And John just circumvented all of that in the last moments of game one, which could immediately spell a massive story for game number two, depending on how things end up going. But right now, Mr. Fahrenheit seems undeterred and Numbers is trying to capitalize on some maybe extra defensive measures from Mr. Fahrenheit, but he's just not finding them right now. And we're back to basics. John at ledge, finding a reversal. Absolutely not finding a really good position for himself. Oh, you're gone. Forward, so now you're all on stage, and John is to make sure that you don't come back. Drop down, go for the forward, or we, are, we have no breath. 
We have no lungs, I fear. We're going for the chaff into the back here. Not going to be taking it quite yet, the low percentage. But John getting a little bit closer to that death at some point. They're down there, not, not going to cut either. The pressure with these constant jabs and these constant downers are so good. The dash back to land the forward smash too is so good. I mean, look at this. We've seen a complete reversal of situations for Mr. Fahrenheit, but now dash back can be sending, sorry, something off for John numbers as the deep breathing does fade away. <gasps> you died. <laughs> Reach the third layer of the mix up, right? Like empty land, in, or we were pressing buttons on the ground, now we're pressing buttons in the air. The empty land grab was represented earlier, now it's empty land buttons again. So something to respect, and Mr. Fahrenheit continuing to apply the pressure, but with the jump in hand, he is able to make it back despite the edge guard attempt from numbers, and we're still chasing. Like, undeterred, unfettered. Like, we are trying to make sure that John Numbers spends as little time off stage as possible because he could just explode at 60. Mr. Fahrenheit is the type of Roy player that knows he's playing Roy, and he knows he can get away with a lot of things just like that. Oh, you saw Numbers. I think he tried going for a foot, which would be really funny if it actually did land, but unfortunately, for Mr. Fahrenheit, still can be seeing the end of that stock very quickly, and now John on the on the cusp of a win here of a 2-0 in Grand Finals again. Best of three. We are in a it's Wednesday. Don't play with me. So we're gonna be seeing John in a really good hot seat, but nice job on Mr. Fahrenheit to keep him off stage and get the percentage, percentage even higher. The back hit of yes, I know Ubel. The back hit of four there is in fact a hurtbox, a hitbox. The f if that's how Grand ended, because hey, <laughs> this might be the quickest Grand Finals. I have been at it in a Xeno since I've been at a Xeno in a long time. Because these two players are just exploding. It's great. It makes but me, it's awesome. It's great. <laughs> it, this, this is why I need it today. I needed to go home at like 12.30. So we're chilling. We're still going to be here chilling on, uh, on, I mean on, on Smashville. John numbers at 0%. Mr. Fahrenheit now in the hot seat. Quite literally, that percentage is going, going up more and more. Again, the side be beautiful. You send numbers off to the other side of the stage. Now, can we reset? Can we utilize that platform? I want to say we go to Smashville and no one's in the platform. Don't need it. Everyone's, need pl it. everyone's playing by the corners and like threatening a lot of off stage play, whether it be with the down airs at ledge from uh, Fahrenheit, as well as these jabs and down tilts, or numbers just getting up and pressing in his face. Like. Oh, this is huge. It's so, oh, so much pressure, but the tech roll in gets red. Another four tilt comes out, 145, and John is starting to swing a little bit. The up air from underneath the stage was so well placed. And then the forward air to close it out. No deep breathing made that a little bit tricky towards the end, but number still finds the call out in center stage with a thumbs up towards the camera, ready and waiting for the, the Devin 3000 top eight tweet. And... We De did it. And Devin, uh, excuse me, John rocks with another Xeno win back to back at Xeno 341. Good for him. Good for him. Good for him. He played it well. And it's like gives a, it gave a showing of just how good John is on the play, more so than uh, how, how he typically is able to beat out some players where he just seems to always have all the cards in his hand and forces players into really weird mistakes. Like, Mr. Fahrenheit was pressing on him and was yeah. pushing and trying to get Numbers to play that aggressive, like, swingy game with him. And Numbers responded in kind with a solid call out, just a run across full stage, throw out that, fo uh, that forward air and find the hit. He played really, really well, just forcing him to press buttons. And Mr. Fahrenheit did force him to play up tempo, but John ended up finding the value, taking the set. Good job, Good job John. <laughs> Good Great adaptation. Job. Also, I, I, you know, without no, not for nothing, Mr. Fahrenheit also made a crazy run. He started top twenty-four in losers. He started. Not, not only that, he started top twenty-four. He was twenty-first seed, beating out crazy. everybody to go against first seed. That. See him higher. That was a great run from Mr. Fahrenheit on the Roy, which you haven't seen in a while. Car flow, our resident Roy main, has now uh, shifted to the. I would say Chrome, sorry, cloud. to the cloud instead yeah. about a year ago, and we've been we've been drained dry of our uh, our, our fundies. Where, where's my yeah. fundies guy? So Mr. Fahrenheit over here making a very amazing show. So kind of congratulations to Mr. Fahrenheit for getting second place, and congrats to John for taking Dino you know, 341. Oh, like like he said, back to back. I believe also winning waypoint yesterday against um I want to say Chris or B or D Dog. Guy guy. Oh guy guy. Ooh. It was guy guy. The wrong side of the person. That's my bad. Yeah, street, <laughs> known Street Fighter player guy guy. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> no one no, can stop that guy in Street Fighter. Local, but John in Smash, John I fear local, he's a little different. But, um, Shout out to Mr. Fahrenheit also playing, what is that, five?
two one sets in a row, and that's just of the ones I see here. Like, could be more, because that's like Helper. He went two one against Ray Luno yes. as well. So that's like six two one sets in a row. That's a lot of games. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. So that's 18 games. And he played 18 yeah. games in losers w with game three scenarios, most of them last hit scenarios, and he won every one. Except for John. But that's okay. Except for well, John was a game. It's okay. It's 2-0. It's a good 2-0. Yeah. It was but a very good 2-0. Yeah. You know. But yeah, and also I want to mention he had to repeat against Dumpling King. Yeah. Who had did. put him into losing in the first place. So not only did he get his run back, he won the run back and he got second place. Hell so you know run. what? Hell of a run. Hell of a run. W run. W. I can't lie. W. In my eyes, he's the real winner. W. So we're going to be closing out very quickly. Some quick reminders, as always. Please, this is Zeno Weekly. You're like, oh my god, my Ubo, where, where the hell are you? New We're York. in the back of Zeno Weekly, Zeno Weekly. <laughs> every <laughs> single Wednesday. <laughs> Venue $8, and you $7. It's a very nice, uh, clean $15. You can pay in person or at, on PayPal at StarGG for a shot Zeno every single week. It's here at Twin Lolo Street, New York, 2002. It's uh, two blocks away from our baby, our sister. If you can see our sister. Oh, she's not on here. Uh, Waypoint. So you know where Waypoint is. Two blocks away is our uh, is us. It's very cool. Very fun vibes every single week. There's at least like 30 people that come, and it's it's fun. Yeah. All right, don't play with me. If you don't want to come to Wait, uh, I'm sorry. If you want to come to Zeno, but you're free on Mondays. I mean, there is. I fear there's a back of my bullshit tournament. Oh, not yeah. really a tournament, but a little a little a little bracket. We get no pools. Straight C4 player cap is at seven o'clock every single Monday at the same exact location. So Monday and Wednesday, we got you covered, baby. Yeah. Quad stream means that your set, regardless if you're on stream or not on stream, means that your set is recorded. It has audio and it's uploaded the same or next day on House's YouTube channel. Do not play with me. It's only ten dollar entry. It's five dollars less. So come on now. Don't go on. Go on. Yep. H House is pushing their quad stream they're pushing their production and they're oftentimes pushing youtube's upload limit and if you want to hire them and they are check them <laughs> 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 the, if you don't want to check them out and all of their production ways you can hire them at uh using uh, events at house of 3000.nyc or follow them on all of their socials including uh, house of 3000 on blue sky on twitch which is what you're watching right now on youtube and if you can find the discord at house of 3000.nyc slash discord but you will have to follow devon 3000 in order to get them on twitter because hashtag free house that has been a year it's been a year it's, it's never happening i fear it's cooked yeah <laughs> Um, was also cooking in the backseat. Please, let's talk about Xeno Saga Long Island, number five. <laughs> not Long Island, but you know, why not? Where's me, uh, next, not next Saturday, I'm sorry, next month, Saturday, May 11th, here at the exact same location. Isn't that so convenient? Everything's nice. Don't do that. <laughs> the exact same location every single time. <laughs> We're gonna be seeing, uh, a there's a poll going on right now on Devin's Twitter. It's a round robin between four, e four side events. One, go ahead. You're, you're better than me. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Castle Siege. <laughs> That's what everyone's saying, yeah. <laughs> getting them for it. Of course, there's some other events that you can look forward to, including uh, Vok Inc. 
Smash Bros. Ultimate happening May 3rd, first weekend of May. So that's it coming in two weeks. Top three wins a free tattoo for themselves or anyone they choose. I'm just letting you know, if you don't want your tattoo and you win, you can at my Neville with an extra A, and I will be there so fast to get a tattoo. I promise I will take it. I yeah. volunteer. Low if you have key. no friends, I'm your Low friend key. that day. I, I, I might be there. We're I've been, also. I've been, I've been looking to get a tattoo. Low, listen, another tattoo, low key. We would love to get free yeah, tattoos if you have you. no friends who want a free tattoo, but so don't worry. I will happily ink myself for anyone. Oh, but, yeah. like you're saying, Ubo, yes, it is going to be at May on May 3rd. It's at Hello Ink Tattoo Studio. The venue is only $10 and singles brackets. Also $10. So, a nice little $20 bracket going to be setting up. Uh, doors open at 4 o'clock, wave A's at 7, and wave B's at 8, just like how Xeno operates on a regular weekly basis. If you want a nice fat discount of $5, Bring a switch and a dock and a adapter, J a GameCube adapter, uh, please for a five dollar discount. Um, April thirtieth is the last day to red, so that's about in six days, about a week. So you have one week um, after Xeno Midnight to lock in to lock ink. Uh, and yeah, eighteen only by the way. Sorry, children, yeah. I play Steve. Only eighteen <coughs> plus, so you cannot come if you're under eighteen. But if you're eighteen, hey, we would love to have you over there. And I think last but not least. Yeah, set the pace. It's a uh, happening this very weekend up in uh, One Pace Plaza in New York, uh, featuring already players like Samba, Sonder, and Fawn to check out a regional happening this very weekend. Ten dollars signals, five dollars for doubles, of which doubles will be there. Uh, registration is, I believe, closed. Yeah. It, yeah, so registration has closed, but it's in a brand new location. It's got some top tier talent like Zamba and Fawn, and you're not going to want to miss it because it's going to be happening this very weekend. And to add on top to the slurry of events that are happening this very weekend, uh, if you're interested in some Jersey Smash as well as some Rivals 2, with which the beta is happening this very weekend. Oh my gosh, let's give a graphic for it. Yeah. Okay. Rivals 2 singles during the open Kickstarter beta as well as the River City Games two-year anniversary of, of the entire arcade will be happening this weekend. It's in Rahway, New Jersey. It's going to be streamed on Collision Series TV. You get an ultimate singles bracket. You get Rivals 2 for one of its pr uh, first regional brackets, of which that game is sick, and you should all play it <laughs> if you're part of the Kickstarter games builded. Uh, on top of, of course, a celebration for uh, one of the new arcades that has been around for now two years uh, in New Jersey that has been host to many a Smash event uh, like Warps and Fusions and uh, everything in between. Absolutely. So please register for that at strategy 4 slash Warps. It's the same link for everything. So just be like, <laughs> I want to go Rivals, yeah. and that's it. All right. Yep. But in the meantime, that's it for Xeno 341. I can't believe we're halfway almost to 400 Xenos. That's kind of actually insane to Crazy. think about. I'm going to start sobbing. <laughs> and yeah, so please, again, follow House on Twitch. If you have that Twitch, that Fat Twitch Prime, it's it's free. Yeah, you could just. You should do it you and support provide, House provide. so they could go to events. Support your locals. I'm gonna be implementing some new, uh, some new quad stuff. You might want to sub. Just saying. You might want. I'm just saying. You might want to sub. I'm just saying. Free prime or five or four nine a month. You know, it's kind of sexy. It's very yeah. cheap. You these, know, five dollars extra than they. Then, then you know. These are the guys. Bomb like, these are the guys you're seeing at Gommel in a few weeks. You're gonna be seeing them there up in Canada. Uh, if you're interested in broader fighting experience, you'll see them at DTN happening at the end of the summer. Like, you know, DM us, like, low key. Um, just big guys. Like, just, these are, are the production right teams. Here. Yeah, right there. Knows, right here. Don't right give me an array right with 267 there. points of data. Just... <laughs> 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 oh, boy. All right. You need to go home. <laughs> yeah. That's it for 0341. <laughs> Congrats, John, for winning everything. Go to all the events. Go to everything. Support House and all that jazz. Follow us both on Twitter. Boom Bam Bob is right here. You can read if I hope you can read. And that is it for tonight. Have a wonderful night, everybody, and we'll see you guys next week for Bombs and Xeno Weekly.